my god! Yo, what's good, Tristans? It's just from today. <laughs> Adele has just uploaded something. I don't know what it is. It appears to be her just singing raw into some sort of phone, camera, or something like that. She uploaded it onto her YouTube channel, onto Instagram, and I'm super excited to jump into it and check it out because when singers sing this way, it is like the best way to evaluate their technique. So we're gonna nerd out super hard. But before we get started, be sure to check me out. Instagram! Oh, oh my God. I feel like I need to start giving these a little bit of a punch. Instagram! Woo! TikTok! Patreon. Okay, let's go. Also, I teach voice lessons. Links to that down in the description below. Let's just go. So, actually, I'm looking at this now. I guess the song is called To Be Loved, and it is off of her new album that comes out very, very shortly. Which, by the way, you should all subscribe to this channel for because I'm going to be reacting to it live and whatever else she puts out. What is this? Yo, girl, 720p? For real? What are you filming on? Girl's got 15 Grammys. She's filming on a goddamn iPhone 6. Okay, whatever. My lemon Grammy is in my, um, is in my house in England. It's not here with me. I'm as I would show you. Okay. Oh my god. I built a house for a love to grow. Mm. I was so young. It was hard. When have you ever seen a celebrity upload something like this, by the way? A celebrity singer. It's crazy because Adele doesn't consider herself to be a, a singer, but she's one of the best singers that I've ever heard. No. I'm as lost now as I was back then. Mm. Always make a mess of everything. It's about time that I face myself. All I do is bleed <clears throat> into someone else. She's singing so softly. It's so beautiful. With all my secret Filling rooms with all my hopes and fears. I don't know about the color of those nails, though. Oh, okay. Oh, my. Oh, man. That little bit of a run there is so good. Oh, my. Okay, so by the way, remember in my last video, I was talking a lot about how she has this restrained timbre to her voice. This is kind of it. You can hear it. Uh, she turns it on right there. I'll always yearn if I never right? Speak. Uh, she, it's like she has like a little bit of a cry and everything. Dynamics though, okay. Dude, it's so pretty. Let it be now that I try. Holy shit! This is this is gonna, this song's gonna be huge, dude. This song is fucking so good. Here's something that's interesting though. I don't know what device she's using, but this microphone is really not fantastic. There's something interesting that happens with these low quality microphones though, which is that you can be using more of a restrained sound, more of a held sound, more of a plaintive expression behind what you're singing. But because the microphone starts to peak, it'll sound a lot fuller and more open than she might actually be singing. So it gets a little bit unclear what she's doing as she gets louder there because of the microphone quality. But regardless, this is still beautiful. And this is actually one of the best I've heard her voice in terms of its dynamic expression. And it makes sense because she's obviously in her house. She's relaxed. She's chilling out. You guys know as well as I do, that's often the times that you sing at your best is when you're just in the zone, chilling in your house, doing your thing, right? I'm so afraid, but I'm open wide. 
I'll be the one to catch myself this time. Mm. Trying to learn to lean into it all. Ain't it funny how it's a very poetic song and long song is at that. Looking back, I don't regret a thing. Yeah, I took some better that I am owning. I'll stand still and let the storm pass by. So that is something that I've noticed about her voice as well. You know, as I've been listening to her more and more and more, when she sings now, she is way more, I mean, obviously she's in her house and all this, but just look how relaxed she is. A lot of people think that singing is about using all this effort and energy, and it can be, especially when you're learning something new, but the more advanced you are of a singer, the more you can just spit this stuff out like it's nothing. And because of that, I think that this is the best I've heard her singing at a low volume in general. Because it's very easy to sing at a low volume and have it sound really boring. You can think of like the average person singing a lullaby. Yeah, they're singing quietly, but for the most part, it's pretty boring. It's pretty generic. But she's shifting between all these different colors and shades and volumes and textures and doing so, so relaxed. Like right here, but oh, that's pretty quiet. But the sound that she's getting out of her voice sounds so full and almost loud, but it's quiet. So she's basically going, and oh, she has this like, oh, sound in her voice, but she's not, oh, she's not like, oh, crazy, crazy. It's like very, very chill, very quiet. But the difference between her and I is how relaxed she's able to do that, which is not easy to make that sort of a full, powerful sound, but at such a quiet volume. And like, oh, let's let's go of it. I have to say as well, again, it's difficult with the audio quality, and I'm sorry for pausing it. I'll let her finish up here in a second, but the quality that she's able to get out of her falsetto is constantly impressing me right how dark this is and how low it is too but again it's, it's a little bit difficult to tell if that's actually her falsetto or not but it is a general thing that i've noticed about her voice is how powerful and full she's able to get her falsetto or her head voice low in pitch that might actually be her normal voice the audio quality makes it a bit difficult to discern The volume control. Oh my god. It's so good. I want to listen to this whole phrase. I'm so sorry if you're pausing it, but how she's able to do this. She's shifting now between that restrained timbre and the open timbre in a way that is so fluid and seamless and in a way that I didn't hear her do in the past she's doing something like let it be no right let it be no i'm making it very dramatic for you guys let it be no you can even see it in her expression right when she's doing these more out open sounds she does this there's a release to it right and when she's not it's this little bit of a hold take a listen to how she expresses it let it be no Her runs are so clean now. They've always been pretty clean though. Oh my God. I'm guessing that's around an E flat. Her E flats are so much stronger now. I mean, at a certain point, you just know. That's her money note at the moment is that E flat. And they're so clean. They're so clean now. And like I said, the volume control, right? Old Adele didn't have this level of volume control, generally speaking. Now it's like any pitch within this range that she has up to this E flat, any volume, super, super mega loud, super quiet. 
She doesn't have the widest range in the industry, quote unquote, but she has the most dynamic range in terms of like all the tones that she can get on each note and have it sound like it's high and powerful. Well, it is powerful, but maybe not always high. That's actually a high note. One more time. Oh my God. So I guarantee you there's a bunch of you out there, whether you're, you know, just a singer at home or whatever it is, you're gonna be trying to get that same note with the same tonal qualities that she has. A huge factor in what she's doing to make that note work. And I've heard her do this note also in her CBS performance, which I'm gonna be uploading a lot of. So be sure you subscribe or just check out my channel because I'm gonna be uploading every single thing that she does. Now it's hard to give an exact demonstration because I'm obviously male. Well, maybe not so obvious, <laughs> but I have different sized vocal folds and I use them in different ways. So something that's very identifiable in that note, number one, her voice gets very, very thin and light and bright sounding in a sense. And also she has a lot of this, uh, right? Going on at the same time. That's the restrained timbre that I'm talking about that has improved her voice dramatically. She was always a fantastic singer, but now, especially her upper range, her upper range was not this consistent before. Now it is very consistent. And you can hear that she's going into that note with this uh, behind it. It almost sounds like she squeaks into the note. Or whatever she's singing. Even standing up or to make the squeak more dramatic. <laughs> right the little bit of a squeak to get up into the note and then hold it and then you know of course shape it so it sounds very pretty she sounds so good this is just fantastic and it's contrasted with this which is more of almost a shouty sound which is what she's generally known for but she shifts from that into this higher more uh squeaky sound right and just it's so like there's it's crazy because the amount of hours it takes for the average singer just to get that one high squeaky note let alone you know the full note into the high squeaky note, back down, still keeping it restrained in controlled volume, boom, into a falsetto, boom, back into an out loud sound, boom, 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 boom. It's insane. The one other thing that she's able to do tremendously well now is she's able to get these bright sounds, these bright witchy sounding sounds, but without them escaping and being too out. So for example, right here. She used to do these sounds, generally speaking. With ah. She'd go there with it where it's very out, it's very open, it's very, uh, uh, I hesitate to say Broadway, but you know, you can think of it that way. And now she has this filter on it. Be with ah, that lets her be this brighter sound without it escaping, if that makes sense. It's so much more controlled. And that goes along with that restrained timbre that I talked about that she has mastered. A little bit of rough vocal effects on her there. This is a very funny thing because you'll hear a lot of vocal coaches all the time. Don't let the sound out of your nose, blah, 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 blah. But you guys know if you watch this channel, almost every single famous contemporary singer has a little bit of sound of their, coming out of their nose here and there because it adds a little bit of a nastiness to the sound, right? And that's what she does right here. That's what gives this a little bit more of a nasty sound. <laughs> Uh, 
right? It gets a little bit more of a honk to it. It's just, it's taking it to another level because yeah, it takes things to another level. Can't figure out how to turn it off, can she? Give me some instructions. What did she say? There were a couple notes, like a couple off notes. There was maybe one off note. I mean, here's the thing: the audio quality is so bad you couldn't tell in the first place. But there was maybe one off note. <laughs> right there. But I mean, it's hard to tell with the audio quality. It's a little bit shouty. And the reason, just so I mean, this isn't for Adele, girl. You you think Adele's watching this video? No, she's not. This is for you guys out there trying to sing the same song. The reason that is, is because the vowel that she's using has a pitch limit. My guess is she's around a C5, which is going to be the pitch limit for this vowel. Um, I guess that's like maybe a D. C sharp five. Voice instruction needs to be this accurate, by the way. Oh, this vowel up until this note. If it surpasses this note, it doesn't work. Oh, how do I know that? Oh, there's the note. Anyway. That needs to change from to ah, right that's all it's just like literally just a, a very small change and i've heard her do it many many other times and i heard her do it in her cbs performance live but also the other thing is she's trying to bring up this like ah, which is very difficult to bring that sound up all the way to that pitch in the first place so that is the other thing she's not trying to restrain it which makes things easier to hit that same pitch on she's trying to just straight on you know fully commit and go for that note as powerfully as possible, which is not easy, which is why almost no one sings that way except for Adele. But anyway, like I said, that's not for Adele. That's for you guys at home. Because I, I, I know some people pick up on that. Oh, I noticed that note. What happened? How do I fix it? How do I be sure that doesn't happen to me? Whatever, whatever. In the real world, nobody gives a fuck, right? You can sing that way. And she sounded absolutely flawless throughout this entire performance. I legitimately think she is... I can't even think of another singer that's as good as her right now. You got Ariana Grande, yeah. of course, and she's fantastic, right? She's up there. But like in terms of everything, the emotion, the expression, the tone, the dynamic control, she's just fantastic. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction to this. If you want to check out the original video, which I highly recommend because I pause this a lot, there's links to that down in the description. Also check me out, Instagram, TikTok, Patreon. I love my patrons so much, you guys. Thank you for supporting this channel. I upload lots of blocked videos onto there because a lot of stuff I upload onto this channel gets blocked. And also you can just help out the channel. Also, link to lessons down in that description below. Until next time, Tristan. And Tristan. Peace. Peace.